Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Defend the Machine, and today guys, I want to thank you all for coming over from Carnage Clan, the people who did on my last two uploads, because I got a lot of subscribers off that, I think I got like 200 in the in the past two weeks or something like that, so that's pretty good for a channel of my size, and I'm sorry for not uploading in the past two days or three days or so, very sorry for that, but there will be a double upload to compensate for that for today, but anyways, in this video, it might tie in quite well with the next video I'm going to upload, because I'm going to show you guys how to get a secret perk, but not any secret perk, a secret perk on the map The Giant, which will actually aid you a tremendous amount. Honestly, this perk's really cool on this map, but I didn't have enough points to buy it once I actually unlocked the place where you can actually buy it from. And I'm going to be showing you guys in this video how you can do everything, but first of all, I want to say that you will need monkey bombs, you will need three monkey bombs, and at least 4,500 points with all the doors open to start with. And the reason for that being, if you saw what I did right there, I lobbed a monkey bomb on the floor, or if you don't know what that means, I threw a monkey bomb on the floor, sorry for my British slang, but anyways, I threw a monkey bomb on the floor, in the teleporter, and I teleported straight away, as soon as the monkey bomb hit the floor, or as soon as I could when the monkey bomb was on the floor, in the actual teleporter, and all you have to do, is do that for every teleporter on the map, you'll see me going around the three teleporters at least once, throwing a monkey bomb on the floor, and then teleporting straight after, and that's why you need 4,500 points, but obviously you need more points to actually, you know, open the doors and everything. So I'd say this is a bit of a grind, guys, because obviously you need the points to buy the box, to spin the box, to get the monkey bombs, and then you need the 4,500 points at least without opening the doors to actually teleport yourself when you've lobbed the monkey bomb on the floor. If you are the guy with the monkey bomb, but the guy with the monkey bomb obviously needs to teleport. No one else, just him. And he's the only one who can actually do this step. You'll see me at the end actually activate the place where I can actually open or the snow I can melt with a giant robot to actually get the deadshot daiquiri or whatever you want to call it. Basically, it's the headshot perk. And it's a really good perk on this map because the Wonder Waffer is basically the designated wonder weapon of this map besides the Ray Gun because it used to be really good and it used to be probably the best wonder weapon overall throughout the whole Call of Duty franchise in the whole of the maps of zombies ever on Call of Duty 5 when you could use it in Shinonuma and the original version of this map on Call of Duty World at War which is called like the giant but in German, I don't really want to pronounce it and then say it wrong, but anyways, it doesn't deserve the title of a wonder weapon in this game, so what you want to be doing really is going for them headshots and what better perk to get than, I mean, Deadshot, which is basically a headshot perk. A lot of the snipers in this game are actually really good to rape train with, like the Locust for example, that gun is just so freaking good as well as the Dracon, so obviously when you pack a punch these weapons, despite them already aiming for the head anyways, like an auto lock onto the head, which is just amazing with double tap as well, and then if you have this perk, then by all means I think it'll be a one shot without even being pack a punched until like round 30 to be honest because the Locust is basically the best sniper besides the Dracon to actually no I'm not going to say any more on this matter I'm going to tell you guys in the next video so stay tuned for that one where I talk about all these really cool guns and these really good guns all the best guns that I consider in the game in the very next video for points and just getting to high rounds and everything but the last step we're doing right now I showed you guys the snow we're about to melt right there and we're going to press this switch and basically all the giant robot does is reflect it off a load of shit and melt the snow and then you can go and buy it but obviously I couldn't go and buy it here because of the fact I already have five perks and if you're wondering how I got five perks I used the gobble gum I didn't teleport and get a free perk I've never done that it never freaking works for me and I tried like 30 times after this but we already did the easter egg or the mini easter egg for the fly trap and then I don't think you get any more drops after that because seven times in a row I really just didn't get any drops at all but anyways hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful definitely recommend getting this perk I wouldn't have made a video on it otherwise if it wasn't important so slap a like on the video if you enjoyed and if you think it's more important to come back to than any others and I'll see you guys in the video tomorrow or the next day actually know the next upload and peace out.